Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks and World of Tanks Epic Battle episode because it is Friday. It's Friday. 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 Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. weekend. I believe you know the song, so Fridays are always amazing and today epic battle episode for you which is even better today because I'm actually going to show you two really amazing battles with hard heavy hitting guns first battle JP E100 or Yak Dibanza E100 as I like to call it cute nickname for such an amazing tank such an amazing epic mammoth uh, tank and the second battle is going to be played uh, with my number one favorite Tank Destroyer in the game, FE215B183. And what a shot to start off this battle. 1212 damage done in two Digobanderage, I believe, of the E5. Let's take a look at that shot once again. And boom. <laughs> so yeah, quite a nice start for the battle. Anyways, let's carry on. Uh, this battle was played by Stigmata41, uh, who is platooned up with Bad Noob1. Nice nicknames, by the way, and I think I'm going to call you Stig in this replay. 988 hit points left, and boom, second shot connected as well into the Commander Hatch, and E5 has been destroyed with two shots, as we can see from the top left as well. 2200 damage done to the enemy T110 E5. Pretty unlucky game. Sorry, Captain America. And it is time to push forward through the banana alley, of course, because uh, enemy T110 E5 was the only tank who was defending this alley. And just look at that epic firepower. Whenever you see two JP 100s are cruising around together, that firepower is simply amazing. Now, over here, I believe Stig's platoon made Bad Noob 1 made a little mistake over here. He decided to hit that full HP Gorilla 15 instead of a D30. In my opinion, it is always better to lower the numbers, especially when you have a chance to kill D30, because D30 has 750 average damage with pretty crazy penetration. I can understand if you're going to choose Gorilla over tier 8 or some other weaker tier 9 gun, but if you have a chance to take out D30, in my opinion this is going to be more important, because uh, you weren't able to one-shot that gorilla anyways. Uh, but luckily our T110 E5 was able to finish off D30 anyways. And it is time to reposition once again, because as you can see from the minimap, we lost the hill. D57, D110 E5, yet another one, and D60J are pushing forward. Okay, good roll needed. Not quite, but thanks to the help from AMX 30B, D57 goes down, and that should scare D62A and T110 E5 a little bit. Uh, yes, uh, with our premium shots, they are not going to be able to penetrate to JP's superstructure. So I believe Stig in this kind of position is going to be safe. Uh, AMX 30 is doing a really good job, dealing damage to that D62A without receiving any damage back. T110 E5, wiggle wiggle, come on do it one more time, one more time, and boom! 1064 damage done, what a penetration, I really did not know how that shot connected or penetrated, but uh, good effort. Uh, D60J is rushing down AMX 30, uh, ramming team damage. AMX 30 decided to take down E5 instead of shooting D60J, which was a really good decision in my opinion. Uh, Foish, come on, one shot, hype, and yes, 1156 damage done. Foish is dead, but he was actually able to take one shot into you, into your commander hatch before going down. And sadly, enemy D62A was able to kill our. AMX 30, who did really good work before that. From the minimap we can see that Bad Noob 1 once again is joining with us, so double barrel action once again. D62 took the shot, so you're able to go over that bump, and on the move, goodbye, D62A has been destroyed. 
Steak is still losing this battle. It was 10 to 12, but now it is even worse. It is 10 to 13. So 2 versus 5. Two artilleries, object 430, T10, and Waffentrager Panzer 4 on the enemy side versus two JP 100s in the same platoon. Let's see what Stig is going to do. T10 got him, easiest kill in the world. Object 430. Okay, bad noob missed. What is Stig going to do? To that 430. How aggressive is that 430 going to be? Okay, now if uh, Bad Noob is going to back up, Stig is able to move out and he should be able to kill at 430. Well done, well done, beautiful play. Like synchronized swimming. On fire, but not quite enough to be able to kill him. 130 HP left. Bad Noob, please, please, please finish him off. 430 was able to drag Bad Noob and bounced. Unlucky mate, unlucky, but uh, Stig is going to be reloaded and goodbye object 430. Fifth kill, 9144 damage done and few more tanks to kill. Meanwhile, Wild Waffentrager Panzer 4 appear behind us. Uh, now depending on which gun that Waffentrager is using, Bad Noob 1 might be a one shot and Waffentrager actually bounced or simply dragged Bad Noob. And according to the sound, I believe he's using uh, that uh, Yak Tiger scan, not at 150 mil. Let's see, what is this guy doing? What is this guy trying to do? <laughs> no idea whatsoever what this guy was trying to do, but Stig was able to get the kill. Six kills, Top Gun is in the bag, 9647 damage done. So now it is two JP 100s versus two artilleries. And one of those artilleries is actually capping. Oh, one is spotted, Badget has been spotted, Bad Noob was able to take to kill, so that means T92 is still capping, and T92 was able to kill Bad Noob 1. So that means artillery is reloading and like taking candy from a kid. 7th kill over 10,000 damage done, 10,147 to be exact, 7 kills, 1,386 raw experience, high caliber and top gun and of course ace tanker. Over 10, or not 10, over 110,000 credits, 71,000 credit profit. Is this correct over here guys? 71,000 credit profit? You can sell all your premium tanks and play with uh, JP100. <laughs> 12 shots fired, 12 hits, 12 penetrations. Yes, some of those shots were really, really crazy, especially every single shot into the E5s. The first E5 got two shotted and the second E5 just crazy, crazy penetration. Anyways, Stigmata41, thank you for such an amazing game with JPE100 or Yak Dibanza E100. But now let's jump into the next tank, which is FE215B183. Here we are, and our Scorpion G has already been destroyed somehow. I do not know how. Anyways, this game was played by Pasha1987. I believe this is how you pronounce your name, Pasha. And uh, he is playing on Karelia. Karelia is the name of the map, or Komori. I don't fucking know, man. We have so many maps. Anyways, D57, first shot, 1556 damage done. Nice Heshkasm for the start of the replay. Beautiful shot, and that should... Ooh, are you kidding me? Are you 251? Uh, that should scare a T57 away, because uh, from full HP down to being one shot uh, to every single guy, pretty much. He's pretty scary. Uh, T44 is still pretty aggressive versus E75, and I believe he knows that we are over here. So I don't understand why or how he is not scared. Maybe just huge, huge boards. Anyways, guys, check out that shot. Oh, just beautiful. 
perfect shot into the middle of the aiming circle. Exactly into the middle. And this replay is filled with shots like this. Crazy penetrations. Wow, you guys are going to be amazed. So just sit back and enjoy. Sit back and enjoy. Our Panther 2 is... I don't know, guys. We have so many guys with huge balls in this replay. Our Panther 2. No hit points whatsoever and he decided to spot for us. And he actually spotted KB4, I believe. 800 damage done. No penetration because you didn't hit the turret. KB4's armor is actually pretty trollish versus hash rounds. Well, pretty much every single uh, Russian heavy gen is super troll versus uh, hash rounds. But uh, Panther 2 spotted D57 Heavy for us, uh, JPE100, Panther 2 with 123 hit points. I think the T57 Heavy is actually reloading. VK, VK4502B, really hard tank to penetrate with hedge rounds, and really hard tank to penetrate uh, overall from the front. So D57 needs one shot. VK most likely needs two shots, but guys, I do not know how Pasha did it, but check this out. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know. I think I have never one shotted VK 450 b with my 183 from the front. Pasha did it under angle. Or under an angle is the correct way to say it, I believe. So Grammar Police is going to help me out most likely. And Grammar Police uh, on this channel is actually helping me to learn better English. Sometimes. Sometimes not. I don't know. Uh, okay, D57 is dead. That was pretty easy shot. Nothing to comment about. Uh, we can see Waffendrager, Panzer 4, IS-3, back chair, and JPE-100. Now it would be awesome to kill that JP100 from 1747 hit points. Oh, we are not able to see much of his tank, but Basha doesn't give a damn. 1747 damage done, JP100 is dead. Boom. Done. And only few nasty guys left, like E4, D57 Heavy, who is actually one shot for Basha. And is Basha going to take that shot? Oh yes, he is. And missed. Most likely missed. I believe whenever you're going to hit the 57 you should be able to penetrate it. Well, not always. Maybe it was a hit. We'll see. In the future. IS-3. Where is ISU? They have a lot of tanks over there. Often Dragger is still hiding. So many TDs. Ooh, Panther 2. Beautiful shot. Auto lock, auto aim, and just pull the trigger. Because uh, versus Panther 2, it doesn't matter where we hit. Most likely you are going to penetrate. So auto aim, whenever uh, Panther 2 was standing still, auto aim was correct play, in my opinion. And according to the damage uh, block troll, we can see that this Wolfen Dragger is using 150 mil gun. Because we were able to block, uh, we were able to block 750 damage. One shot hype. <laughs> God damn! I simply clap. I love 183, and this is why FE 215B 183 is my number one favorite tank destroyer in the game. Just that troll value is. It's too amazing to be true. One shot after one shot after one shot after one shot. That poor little ISU-152 is using turp gun, most likely. Because, well, he was shooting AG and he actually bounced his previous shot with AP round. Uh, anyways, Chieftain T95 is going in. And good kill. Quick kill. Full HP D110E4 actually, so Russia has chance to take or to deal even more damage on the move <laughs> hashtag drive by on the move kill as well for you guys 9622 damage done only two headshots left 
Yeah, T57 is losing HP quickly. E4 is losing HP. Come on, reload faster. Over 10k hype. We need over 10k damage. And done. Nothing penetrated to the E4 before, and Pasha was able to take the kill with 1020 damage done. So overall, Pasha was able to deal 10,642 damage, 8 kills, 1509 raw experience. Ace tanker, Radley Walters, high caliber tank sniper, top gun, uh, close to 100,000 credits. 11 shots fired, 10 hits, 10 penetrations. So that means that blind shot into the T57 heavy tank was not a hit actually. Uh, but Pasha was still able to make credits, 27k credit profit. Crazy game, crazy battle. Pasha, thank you for such an amazing battle and uh, guys, thank you for watching. As I said, it is Friday, so that means uh, go out here and enjoy your bloody weekend. I wish you the best weekend ever, as always, I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, take care and bye.